I'm a virgin by choice. I still got my V card and I have a lot of reasons on why I still am. Losing your V card or your virginity is the cool thing to do. Uh, back in school, all the kids would brag about how much action they got and they would flex to all the other guys peer pressuring them into doing it as well. And I never fell for it. I never found that stuff cool at all. People looked at you weird for not losing your V card or at least not wanting to lose it or not pursuing five people at one time trying to get action by anybody who would do it with you. I never fell for that stuff. I always knew that there was some deeper scarcity to your virginity than just giving it out to anybody who would willingly take it. I always knew that there was a deeper connection between the bonding of two people that can create new life besides just giving it out to anyone and flexing to all your friends in school trying to act like the man because quite honestly you're not. I was never at the parties or the bonfires. I was actually never invited to any of them or anything at all actually. I had my three or four friends that I grew up with since middle school that I still chill with till today and that's really all I got. I never really um, tried to pursue all these girls and tried to get my v-card taken as fast as I could. I just didn't really find it that interesting. I, I didn't find anybody worthwhile of taking it. But that's all superficial. There's also a deeper meaning and there's a deeper reason why I still keep my v-card besides the fact that I just don't have any friends. And before I explain that, I can't blame anybody that has already lost their v-card, especially to somebody that they don't truly love or care about because it's so glorified everywhere. In school, your friends look at you right if you don't do it. The music makes it seem extremely cool and you should be doing it and if you're not, you're weird. Movies are the same exact thing and especially TikTok, we have 15 year old sex symbols. I feel like the age that people are starting to lose their virginity and their innocence is just getting lower and lower, especially through any form of social media. It kind of trains you to be more revealing in your pictures. Guys and girls, if you post a picture revealing a lot of your body, you're going to get a lot more comments, a lot more likes, a lot more attention and a lot more DMs from anybody that wants to get with you because you're revealing more of yourself. And if you post a regular picture versus a picture with yourself shirtless and guys, I'm talking to you, you're going to get more likes of the picture that's shirtless. It's just going to draw in more attention. Those amount of likes make you feel more gratified and fulfilled in life because uh, 400 plus people like that picture instead of the regular 60 people that like your picture. And then you're just going to keep on doing more and more of it. And then you realize, hold up, if I wear even less or I show off even more, I'm going to get even more likes. And that just puts you into this loop of hell that's not going to get you anywhere. But virginity is one of those things that you can only give out one time to one person. That alone should be enough explanation that it's pretty scarce. It's pretty rare. And especially to you yourself, you can only give it out to one person. So does it make sense to give it to someone that you're not going to know in a few years? or the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I feel like that would make the bond just so much stronger. I mean, what would I know? I'm still a virgin. You can't put a price on it. It's not tangible. And most people sell themselves short of their virginity to someone they don't love or at a very young age and they don't really know what it means. And the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if you're selling yourself short of your virginity, then what else are you selling yourself short of? Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred. So if you can transfer your sexual energy into any other part of your life, you will get there so much faster. If you look at my subscriber count right now, I'm at what, 410,000 subscribers? That's proof of sexual transmutation. I'm not trying to flex, but I'm showing you where I got today is from sexual transmutation. How do you think I got the energy to just wake up one morning as a lazy high schooler that was doing nothing in life and said, you know what? I'm gonna be a YouTuber. And I got the energy out of nowhere right? Like I, what, did I just drink coffee for five years straight? It came from within. It came from the sexual transmutation, the energy that I've had all along that I was just wasting and just throwing away either down a drain, a napkin, or even a piece of rubber. Instead of just giving away my energy, the strongest energy that I've held in my life, instead of just giving it away, I've converted it into something that can actually change my life for the better and get me to where I want to be in life instead of just releasing it over and over again. Sexual desire is a driving force in life. It should be tamed and mastered to serve you, not the other way around. I know plenty of people in life that allow their sexual desire to get out of control and control them. And it literally makes life changing decisions for them. They leave places they're currently at to go get a quick hookup session. They stop working on their dreams and their passion so that they can feel that little temporary ounce of pleasure they react out of instinct and impulse and not intellect. I'm sure you know people like that as well. People that don't have any control over their sexual desire. They're always flexing to you about how they smashed that girl and they hit this girl and they're the coolest guys ever. Um, but they're really not. Just imagine they were to get all of that energy that they were to release every single night or every single week religiously. If they were to just transfer that energy into something that actually mattered to them. 
if they wanted to be a millionaire by age 21, instead of going out and trying to hook up with any girl that you could and release all of that sexual energy and all of that sexual desire that can make you extremely powerful and that can give you all of the extra push that you need to actually get there, instead of wasting it, just imagine they transferred it and put it to where it actually matters. And that ties right back into why I'm still a virgin. All these kids in school that used to tell me, yo bro, I hit this girl last night, that was crazy, this girl did that to me and I did this with that person and I'm like, that sounds disgusting. The same people that look at me weird for being a virgin, I look at them the same exact way. I never found that stuff cool. I never found giving the one thing, the intangible force of energy that you could only give one time to one person that really means a lot to you that you'll never forget until you're six feet under to just about anybody that's willing to take it. Doesn't make sense to me. I found it much more gratifying and beneficial to my life if I were to work on YouTube videos for seven, eight, nine hours a day, instead of pursuing all these girls in the DMs and going on 15 dates in two weeks, I never found that stuff cool. I found maybe working on my passion and getting what I wanted out of life and becoming successful in, in my own terms. I found that a lot more gratifying than posting shirtless pictures, thirst trapping these girls, other way around, DMing and going back and forth just so I can feel pleasure for five seconds. I mean, where's that gonna get me in life? Now it's totally different if this person means so much to you and you plan on spending the rest of your life with them. But besides that, I feel like you're just wasting your time. Transmuting your sexual energy isn't something new that we just found out in 2020. It's Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, Christianity. All of these religions have been preaching this forever since the beginning of time. And regardless whether you follow them or not, that's not the point that I'm trying to make here. It's the fact that it's been around forever. This is not a new concept, it's not a new idea. Regardless if you're an atheist or you believe in any of these books or not, that doesn't matter. The fact is, is that all of these holy books explain the same exact thing. And these books have been around for a lot longer than you and I have. And they explain the same thing that you should be transmuting your sexual desire and you should be only having sex with someone that you truly love, that you feel you have a really deep connection with. That alone should give the statement and the concept some validation. And the more time passes, the more important this concept becomes. Because I'm positive no one's ever slid into your great great grandfather's DMs on Instagram or he was never tempted to go watch pornography. But it's 2020 and here we are. Controlled sexual transmutation and a burning desire will get you anything that you want in life. And unless you found the right one that's worth it, are you going to go ahead and give that to just about anybody? We got stainless steel, gold, matte black, and white. If you want to get your very own V card to flex your virginity, then you know where to look. They're in the description below and the cards above. Also, they're stainless steel, so they're really, really high quality. And I keep mine in my wallet at all times because you never know when you're going to lose it. Thanks for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.